Everybody's not on the WhatsApp group and they want to be added to the WhatsApp group. Does anybody have this light on for the, please speak to me. For the video? Or? That's my producer. WhatsApp group. Backlight helps. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 We are in Harry Piot Fest. And we're um, you know, going till the first 18 Krokin, first 17 Krokin, we've had some um, you know, some uh, sort of happy Hasidic times here in the Nefajahim and some more difficult times. So this is one of the more difficult times in <laughs> Nefajahim. And um, what we need to be a Mabar. Once and for all, is um, is what is kares? That's really what he's talking about. What is kares? Rough topic, huh? And is there tshuva for kares? So just before anybody gets nervous, there's tshuva for everything. The Rambam says that uh, there's no such thing as an avera that you can't do tshuva. Rambam says, of course. So uh, just keep in mind that anything anything that we're talking about is shuvable. But um, I just want to understand the sugya. So let's first do the Nebuchadnezzar. Very good test. Tolze, miroi, tuboi, vachaste, hagodoli, shparav, shmoi. This is the chesed of Hashem, asher chafetz la'atz dikeinu. He wants us to be tzadikiv lahetiv achriseinu te'evoi lomhaba, l'zoi sif li'etza. And this is HaKadosh Baruch who gave us a lot of ways of kvom, v'in yinzeh, and he Created life in such a way. Shakol bechina me agimol elu tiskasher me abechina shealeha. Today shall yidez a yuchol adam lalos liskasher me matu lamalu maat maat. Thank you. Let me um, just review quickly what we learned, and that is that the way life works, bigadol vayipach ba'af of nishmas chayim. But it's Baruch who blows breath into our lives, and hence we're alive. But that's not the essence of life on a scientific basis because um, God, we don't find, as I said many times, that God blew into the nostrils of rabbits and porcupines and squirrels, and yet they're alive, right? If the cat bothers you outside your house, that's, that's he's alive. But that, that alive is a different thing than what we're talking about. We're not talking about that type of alive. We're talking about a certain fetus of Kedusha where a person is alive, meaning you're connected to the Sherish Shachayim, connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the way that works, he explained in Perak Yuzayin, in Perak Tazayin, in Perak Tazvav, well, the way he explained is that we, our bodies, um, have, there's really four parts. There's the goof, you know, the body. It's there even after we're, we're not alive any longer. But nefesh is what means alive. Nefesh is alive. So um, an animal also has a nefesh. All over the hummus. An animal also has a nefesh. But that nefesh, our nefesh, is now hooked up to a source where it's nefesh here, and then ruach here, and then the shama here, and then a kodesh baruch Hu there. So the vayipach ba'af of nishmas chayim flows straight into our nefesh. So it's not so much that we have a nefesh, or even the nefesh is breathing; it's that the breathing, the breath the, the, that we have within us, all of us have within us a, a, um, a, a the breath of a kodesh baruch vayipach ba'af of nishmas chayim. This is, and, and the Rebbe Chaim, if you recall, gave the example of a, a glass blower, right? That's the example, which was a beautiful example that he says over and over again, that just like a glass blower is blowing from here, and, he's, and, and out here is coming the final product, um, so the air is going through. So you have nefesh, which is your product, your glass, um, ruach, which is the windpipe, and, and the shama which is where it starts, and the Neshama, and the Neshama is not God, but the Neshama is already a, a, a chalik, or, a, or heck, it's hooked up even higher to worlds that we don't understand. So the way does it happen? Yeah. Different place, we're going to learn, where that comes from. Life, life um, see, because in English you have one word called life, but in Lashon HaKodesh, that's not the word, that's just an English word, life. Um, alive is not necessarily hooked up. Yeah. How how will we fit into this uh, 
um, our reality in our face. There's billions of human beings that are animated, alive, thinking, talking. They're not Jews. Rabbits. <laughs> they're, 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 they're being alive has nothing to do with our discussion. By the way, it's not to say that those billions of people can't hook up, but I would say they're not necessarily <coughs> hooked up. So, um, so I mean, to put it, we talked about the glass blowers, which is not in most of our lives unless you happen to visit, uh, you know, the islands off Venice. So we're not thinking so much about blowing glass. Well, but let's think about it as somebody who's just hooked up to oxygen, right? And you're getting your 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 air from from this source. The difference is that if you don't get your air from the source, then you're dead. But let's say there's two sources. Let's call it Kabbalistically Sidrat or Klipa. Whatever you want to call it, it's not, it's not, right now it's not important how, um, if you're not hooked up, you're alive. But what I, what, I, what I want to say, which is important, is that alive has nothing to do with what we're talking about. We're not talking about that. What we're talking about, when we're talking about alive, we're talking about being hooked up. Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama. And I spoke last, uh, last week about the fact that it's not an all or nothing deal either. Because um, you, can, you can be hooked up. The hooked up has, um, Chazal tell us, has 50 strands to be hooked up. Um, th those are the Nunshari Kedusha and the Nunshari Tuma. So um, a person does an Avera, Chazal, you can cut a strand. You cut, you do 10 Averas, you live, you live up the Averas, Roy Averas, you know, like Roy Averas, new experience. You cut off most of the strands. It doesn't mean that you're not hooked up. You can still be hooked up. So that's why Chazal tell us, and everybody knows, that uh, that the Chai Yishol Mitzrayim went down to the Mem Tesh Shari Tumah. There's only 50. But they went Mem Tesh Shari Tumah, meaning they were, we, were, we were hooked up to our Avais and to the Neshamais and to Chai Yishol, to the Rebani Shalolo, by a strand. Because Baruch Hu rescued us at the, last, at the last strand. So that's the Mem Tesh Shari Tumah. When we went through the, the days of Sirius Oiber before about the Torah, we, they're, unlike copper wires, they're, they're organic, they grow. We were able to put those strands back into place until we got to Mount Entire, where we were completely hooked up. And, and that would have been even the Gulula, we were so hooked up, except we did the Bicegel <laughs> cut, cut, cut again. So, so what we're talking about here is hook up, hook up. You know, uh, pick, your, pick your muscle, but you know, you, you, I don't know if, like if, if one of the strands <clears> of the electrical wiring goes off, if you'd see a difference. Well, let's say, you know, if, uh, if you have a speaker system in your car, and it's a little bit, uh, you know, a uh, couple of the strands broke here and there, so you start hearing the, you know, so it's like that. You don't get the same connection in the same, the same way. So it's, we're talking about connectivity here. Um, so this is the, the idea of getting hooked up. So kol b'china me'agimol elut means nefesh ruach, nesham etiskasher ba'a b'china shel yoyna hooks up to the b'china, which is on top of it. The beauty of this is that you can access, you have access now to the highest worlds because you're hooked up. Little by little, if you write Vaskai, Batayra, Vidasa, you sparish by Yadava, you do Mitzvah, you learn Vitaris Libai, Avasa, Yurasa. These are all things which um, you're able to be connected to. The person can be connected spiritually. You see, you go to a tzaddik, let's say. And the tzaddik has ruach hakodesh. Ruach hakodesh. Tzaddik nevuah. is here. This is the place of ruach. This is the place of nefesh. This tzaddik is able to access ruach. So that's ruach hakodesh. It's it's not nevuah. Ruach hakodesh. The Gemara says even though we don't have nevuah nowadays, the Gemara said hundred dollars. Still, b'shtav shuba baskel. Afal b'shet baskel b'shtav shuba ruach hakodesh. There's there's ruach hakodesh that there's this ability that maybe we all have a little bit. Of being able to access a, a, a higher place, not like Nevoa, where Kodesh Baruch is speaking straight to you. Uh, it's, it's a Ruach HaKadosh, you access the Ruach. But you can go elevate yourself higher, higher. You can get to the Sherish of your Neshama, possibly, which is um, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's world. I think all this has very practical ramifications. Let's get the words. Zois loy dacheres, even more. Yesh kama, and this is really our sugya. Yesh kama avoyno sha nefesh hachoytes ba'achas mehena. There are certain averos which are so hamor <coughs> that if if you're a choytes ba'achas mehena, nischayva kores. 
or Yavada in Chasushal. Now, Kares, according to the way we're understanding, makes a lot of sense. The word at least makes a lot of sense, because Kares means what? Cut off. So maybe if, if the whole thing is to be connected, the whole thing is to be connected, so Kares means you're disconnected. There's a disconnect. What is, how is Avadon this week? What's Avadon? What's Avadon? Something different. That's it. So, oi kares, oi avodin. I want to explain that. Oi kares, oi avodin. Bein yin akares. So let's first, I want, here's, here's the Seder, we'll read in the next 20 minutes here. The, the, there's the Nefesh of Chayim explaining kares, and le yes or beer, I just want to learn with you, the Rabban who explains what it is. Nothing is, nobody's arguing here as far as I know. It just explains, and then the Rabban says what to do with it. And he'll just chew. So that's, that's my uh, sequence here. Inina um, karisu, what is karis? Shabuchidas hanefesh nifsak v'nichras mishor shoy ha'elyon. Remember, nefesh, ruach, neshama. Where is the disconnect? Where have you, where have you um, shorted the circuit? And the answer is, where? Nefesh? Between nefesh and ruach. Okay. Um, how do we know that? Because the Pasuk says, he kores, he kores as ha nefesh ha hi. He kerev ha He kerev ha So there's a disconnect. The yedatek ha chevel, one is cutting the rope or the uh, pipe. Shahaya kasher of a dubak boy, which you were, which was your lifeline. Ad heina, until this point, al yedeh his kashers, and now the way we've been explaining it. And here we have some zayars. But because of Isaiah Truma, minor has Baruch Hashem, a Hebrew translation, I'm going to skip to it. It says, V'yesh um, nefesh. There is a nefesh, a kasabai v'nichrasa ha-nefesh ha-hi. Malifnei Hashem. Nichrasa ha-nefesh ha-hi. Milofanai. Mahu milofanai, asks Isaiah. Lichrasa ha-nefesh ha-hi. Think about the Pasuk for a second. Lichrasa <laughs> when I get to these people, I'm like in denial. I don't want to hear about it. So let's 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 just uh, let's just face it for a minute. Lichrus, a person eats chasishol on Yom Kippur. So that's where it says that. A uh, person is does a bi'ila sur, which is chayv karis, right? Person baal eshesish. So uh, these kind of things. So v'dichrusa. Let's analyze the pasuk. Ha nefesh ha hi nefesh bilfonai. What's that little fun like? Mm. Yeah. What, what, what does that mean? Nifrasa and Nefrasahi, little fun like. So, simple shot is that the person is getting his or her Yadika from me, Akash Baruchu, little fun like, and now no longer hooked up, no longer attached. You're working on maybe. Um, Reserve emergency battery supply. It's like uh, you know you unplug your alarm clock; it doesn't lose time. You have still a little bit of time to so chew and plug it in. You know what I'm saying? Right? <laughs> a little bit of time. Back up. I think just just to understand this correctly in terms of the mashal that has been given before, it would then appear that all the spiritual help still exists in its purest and original form. And really, where the defect or the effect is going to take place with Kares is more in a physical aliveness way. So we're less alive. Excellent. Excellent. Not only are you less alive, but the Gemara says that um, sometimes a person is high of Kares. So um, the Gemara says that uh, Rafa made a, made a big birthday party for himself when he was 60 years old. Um, and, and he said, they asked him, what makes such a big party for if you're 60 years old? So he says, they said, that's high of Kares. If I made it till 60, I'm not high of cars. So Rabba said to Rabba, that's not right. That's <laughs> a great Gemara, what do I think? <laughs> Could be, yeah. <laughs> Could be your high of cars. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> you find many Rishoy of living till 80 and 90 and 100 years old. So what? You know, what does that mean? So that, that itself needs to be explained. But so, it's a great about like is Rabba and Rabba. Rabba Bar Bar Kamer. Mahu will find I freak the Zayar. Shalai Shaira Aleha Karuach Al Hanefesh Hahi. What Milfanai means, says the Zayar, that the Ruach, whatever, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshava, the Ruach is not hooked up to the Nefesh. Ukisha Ruach, Eino, this is your words. Ukisha Ruach, Eino Shaira Al Hanefesh, 
So what happens? Eid la nefesh kibur klal v'bash l'bala. My nefesh is here. It's walking around like a chicken without a head, but it's walking around. And but it, it's it, it, there's something wrong. But it's not hooked. It's not hooked up to the to the ruach on top of it. In parentheses, the Zohar says, "Ve'eno yedas me advarim shabo ilum ha'elyon." No connection to the shemayim. Vuhu k'nefesh ha'behemos. Like a behemoth. The hem is alive, you're alive. And then he says, this is the beautiful Bakiyas of the Nefesh Achayim, Ayn Billy Kutay Tur, that's the Arizal Parshish Boy, but Machilta Parshish Boy, it was like Parsha Tisisa, but we see free Parshish Balaisko, Parsha Slav, and Nifrasa, Ain Hafrasa, Ella Hafsaka. And so they all say the same thing. But Ain Hafrasa, I'm not going to look up all those things, but Ain Vinifrasa, very Maduyak, it means to cut off. You've cut off, you've, you've uh, cut the pipe. Zel Shekasov Yeshayahu said, Nun test base, Himavane Sechem, Hayim Abdilin, Benechem, Levain, Elekechem. The Avonais are Mavdil, meaning it's not getting through. Hainu Levain, Elekechem, Mamish, Baz, Nikbas, Mimke, Atumah, Baklipa, Israfman, Lusan. So you're living off Tumah, you're living off Klipa. Ein Beis Chaim, Sharklolus, Abiyo, Bashara, Yehudim, the Avonais, the Kutay Tanach. Okay, all the Varma Kaitis. Yes. If, if you are are connected, so what's normal when you're not connected it's it's the Nefesh Bahamas. Not connected. You're not connected. And when you are connected, is it still Nefesh Bahamas or it, or it has an added value to it? Yeah, of course. What sure. what is what's that called? No, I was not, according to Balatanya, <coughs> um, the Nefesh Bahamas is there. That's the base. Mm-hmm. Now the question is, do we have are we in business class? Are we hooked up to the Nefesh Elikis? Nefesh Elikis, then that's the top part of the Nefesh, which can hook up to the Ruach, which can hook up to the Neshama. But the Nefesh of Bahamas itself can, can live. But does, does it become a different... Is, is my is Nefesh Bahamas the same as the guy's yes. Nefesh Bahamas? Yes. So... Yes. <coughs> and Nefesh of Bahamas is not to be confused with the Eight Sahara, a different story. So, um, what, so listen, we need to learn, because we're talking math, and charts, and diagrams. Let's right. let's talk tachlis. Um, what does it mean? So let me let me um, jump you to this Ramban, which is I often go back to this Ramban. The Ramban, 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 Ramban wrote a book about this, by the way, called uh, Shar Hagamul. It's important enough for him to write a book about what uh, schar, einish, olam haba, etc. Not only is it, is it not a book, uh, the Ramban, you know, not, not only is it not a book that most people read, but um, go try to buy one. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult to, to even buy. Just not, it's just the subject's just not popular. It's just not popular. It's not like one of those things people do with the Kudus and a lot of footnotes on the bottom. Um, I think there's a reason for that, too, which I will uh, try to explain before we finish here today. But the Ramban, well, the Pusik says in Parsha's Achrimois, this is what we read on Yom Kippur. <clears throat> And on Yom Kippur, we read the Parsha of Arayus. Now, first of all, let me just make this simple statement. Why do we read the Parsha of Arayus on Yom Kippur? The furthest thing from anybody's mind Yom Kippur is the Arayus. So the answer is, with what we read is not about Arayus. What we're reading Yom Kippur is Karis. What we're reading is um, that there is a situation that um, one cuts off themselves from their, from their source of life, spiritual life, no longer connected. And Yom Kippur is all about being connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So the, the toggle of Kares or not Kares is exactly what Yom Kippur is about. It's not, it's not about Arayis, it's about Kares. And Kares is about connection and disconnection. So the Torah says two things that happen. Um, two things that happen. It says, it says all the things that you're not allowed to do. As Zohar Leisishka Mishkevei Isha Tayevahi. Everything has a different name. Interesting, everything has a different name. A person is, engages in Mishkav Zachar. He treats a man like a woman. Toeva, that's a Toeva. Toeva is worse than an Avera. Toeva is worse than an Avera. It's, um, what does it mean, worse than an Avera? It's Toeva. Repugnant. Huh? Repugnant? Right, no, because somebody called me uh, a couple of months ago, that uh, a rabbi. My opinion on something. He said that um, 
the, the, traditionally, the president of his uh, shul is, is not Shomer Shabbos. Okay, yeah, do the best you can. So, president of the shul, the president of Shomer Shabbos. Yes, <laughs> 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 That the president is not Shomer Shabbos. Okay, so the president's term's over, and the next guy comes in, and he's also not Shomer Shabbos, but he's gay. Yeah. So, um, so the, the community argues that well, you know, uh, not Shomer Shabbos or gay. Point is, not keeping the Torah in our in our um, takanon, what's it called in our uh, in our uh, charter. It's okay not to be from right. So, um, so you know, Mali. Um, ah. That if he's Shabbos. not Shomer Shabbos, or he's uh, exactly. not only is he gay, but he's a big advocate for gay rights and all that. So, so I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> this, this cannot be like Ada <laughs> Dover So he said, he says, okay, how do we, how do we explain to this? I say because it's a toeva. It's a different thing. Toeva means it's scorned, it's pushed away. It's, it's, a, it's a big, first of all, it's hard to be machalot between one wrong and another wrong, once you go that route. But, but, um, but still, um, toeva is toeva, like, uh, toeva is toeva. I'll say somebody's intermarried, president of the show. I guarantee you there are many orthodox shows with intermarried presidents. Um, it's a different, you know, could be less of an avayr than being machalot but there's something the Torah gave him a shame, a shame to Ava. To Ava. To Ava. He pushed away. He pushed us away. This, here's your chance. Here's your chance to be to Ava. Here's your chance to be to Ava. I hate it. You hate it, right? To Ava. Anyways, but, um, person is, I don't know, I forgot what's called in English, person has a relationship with an animal. Beastie, beastie, alabeastie. Man, a woman. So here it says, not toeva tevel. Who's that? That's not a toeva. That's tevel. Hmm? Was tevel tough days? What does it mean? Nice. Rashi says, Loshoin kodesh ve'erva v'niyuf. Lashain Tevel who Lashain Kodesh like Lysia Kadesha the Erva the Neuf. What? The Api Al Tavlisam. Tevel who lashim belila the irvu of Rashi says zera adam zera behema. Very good, very good. What we say. Tevel who lashim belila the irvu of zera adam zera behema. You're mixing up uh, the bria. Tevel who like you're 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 messing up the bria. It does not a toleva. Tevel who interesting. I know if the words are better. Al tatamu b'cholevu. This is, by the way, talking about when we come into Eretz Yisrael. That's why I'm sending the Goyim out of Eretz Yisrael, because they do those things, so you don't do these things. What's going to happen is the, you're going to be Matam Eretz Yisrael, and and these people will be spit out of Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael... Um, you see, because we were talking before about about um, you can live, a person can live without being hooked up, but not in Eretz Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, ultimately, it won't work, um, as we've seen throughout history. Ultimately, Eretz Yisrael, you have to be hooked up to live here, because otherwise, Vitaki Haaretz Isa. You see, a lot of times, like the, the the big Yerida that we find is not so much about people making decisions to do Yerida. It's about Vitaki Haaretz Isa, who says you have the schus to live in Eretz Yisrael. That means you and non Jew? Well, it says before that the non Jews were spit out because they did these things. Mashma, if they would have behaved, they would have been. This is the Ram. I'm going to finish. So there's a mitzvah of Kiddush Haaretz? Yeah. So if he does this, he puts out his mitzvah of Eretz No, but he won't get thrown out of Eretz Yisrael. He's already out of Eretz Yisrael. In other words, when here, that's why I'm saying here the Torah is talking to the. To the Klai Yisrael that's moving into Eretz Yisrael. 
that you have to understand that the terms of relationship with the with the with the arets here that there shouldn't be a vataki haaretz isam that there is such a thing as the earth spits you out. Ushmartem atem as kupei seiv as mishpatai v'lo isasim yikolat seiv as eila isra hager agar b'seiv mitam shatinish because agar doesn't have bad samachelik in Eretz Yisrael, but if you're if he if he behaves with kedusha. He's part of Eretz Yisrael. He'll have part of Eretz Yisrael. Whereas somebody who say shevet Yisach or shevet shevet Zavulun, whatever, you have a real chelik in Eretz Yisrael, but it, but you're cutting off. The, the, the has to come through Nefesh Rov and Shemit. He has kol atayevus ha'elo ha'el asuan she Eretz ha'shelif neichem. This is what the Kanadim did. But tik ma Eretz. Like some of the Eretz has come to Hamel Hamoyis and Kasher Ka as a goy ha'shelif neichem. You don't want to get cut off from Eretz Yisrael as did the goy who came before you. Kol asher yase. Now here's the pasuk. Ki kol asher yase mi kol atayevus ha'elo. So now we're talking about kol atayevus ha'elo. A person's doing a toyev, a person's disconnecting themselves from Eretz Yisrael, and anybody who does this, kol hasher yase, again, it's the Torah we're talking, mi kol atoyev ois ha'ela, v'nichrasu ha'nefashe yisa ois ois mikarev ha'am. Now listen to these words. Kares, v'nichrasu ha'nefashe ois, not milifanai, ha'ois ois, which are doing this, mikarev ha'amam, from amongst their people. So even though it was called Pebble before, now it's called Toyeva. Well, they're all they're all forms of Toyeva, Rashi says. Mushmartem is Mushmarti, Lufilti, Asas, Mufukas, Toyeva, Sashinas, Lufnechem, Lysitamavam, Ani Asham, Likhechem. So what what you have here in this Parsha of Torah that we read, Anyam Kippur, what you have in this Parsha of Torah, this Parsha Kana, is the secret to um, Kla Yisrael living in Eretz Yisrael. And that doesn't lead a good, healthy life. You need to be connected, but here's what's so fascinating about otherwise benichrasu. Now this is, doesn't seem, even though these things are high of cars, these things are high of cars. Mishkav but 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 it's a benichrasu here. He's talking about mikaravamam. So says the um, the Ramban on this pasuk is follows: benichrasu on the fashe so I say mikaravamam. No, this is the Ramban alatar alamakom. Zairoin, I'm saying in the Sharag Mul is Mairach on this, but this is like in a language which is easy to unavoidable. It's right here. Zairoin Nichras vi Yamav Nichrasin. What does it mean? Lush and Rash. What does Lush what does Kares mean here? Zaroi Nichras. Kares in this case means <coughs> Zaroi Nichras. Intermarriage. Assimilation. Zaroi Nichras. Your children will, your, your family will not continue. Your own personal life can be shortened. Lashen Rashi, that's what Rashi says. Behine says the Ramban as follows. Behine ba krisus ba tayra shloisha inyan. This is Kabbal in terms of clarity. There are three types shloisha inyanim by cars. Ha echad. Listen carefully. One type of cars which you find a little bit earlier. Menichres haish hahu. Hasheni, shenam marbahem, v'nichrasu ha'nefashos ha'oisos. Also the same in the second. V'nichrasu ha'nefesh ha'hi milafonai. Remember, the first case is v'nichras ha'ish. How come? The second one is v'nichrasu ha'nefesh. So the first case is a case of kares of the, the, the ish gets cut off, and the second one it says the nefesh gets cut off. That's our posse. So the Sifri, Levish Oimer, Kores, Bechom Mokem, Venu Dei Mahu, Kish Oimer, Vahavadati, Avodai Nefesh, Limad Allah, Kores, Eino Allah, Avodai. So the Ramban explains as follows. These are the three possibilities. Ish, nefesh, nefesh, oisos, mikaravam. Three types of cars. Everybody with me? Explain the third again. I didn't explain it yet. the pshat is the Rambam. Let's see how far we can get into this. Let's say a person can't resist, so he eats some dam. 
hard to imagine? No. You go into a, you know, it's interesting, like the Arabs hold a sheet, but they don't take out the dam. Right? So, drink it. Uh -huh. They drink it. Good. So, <coughs> explains a lot. <laughs> the, 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 shot, the shot in halal, or halal, is that, um, I just, you know, you, you see that hamburger and you can't resist it, so you have some dam, right? Or, when I was a kid, the kosher butchers were a little bit shot on the Malisa part of it. <laughs> So, um, eat some dam. <coughs> but, chalev is the same thing. Like, it's, um, it's a kosher animal, it's kosher shkita, but they didn't trade it correctly. So, you know, basically you're talking about, you know, 1950s Orthodox Jews. <laughs> eat dam. So, v'hu tzadik, but that's a, he's a tzadik. V'hu he's going to show Shabbos. Kashus, he's a good guy. But he's doing something terrible. He didn't die. So the halach is, and that says the Ramban, Yikarsu Yamav, he's Chayv Karas. Eating Dami Chayv Karas. It's amazing. Huh? Amazing. Amazing. Yikarsu Yamav, and what does that mean? V'yamos bin Neurim, Chaydem Shiagil Limeyazik. Will not live a full life. The Oynesh will be, this is what Rafa was celebrating. I don't need any dam. I'm a good guy, and I never and I never fell into something which was kares. So I made it lime hazikna. The Hague says the Ramban shishim shana. Let's talk about like um, you won't make it to zikna. Pirkei Avos it says ben shishim zikna. So um, <coughs> make it to sixty. So it means a naf should be kares. I'm here. <laughs> it's, 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 even this person who didn't make it to 60 because he was high of cars. By the way, this is what Rabbis Kasha is. Many, many, uh, many uh, were showing to make it past 60. So he explains that's not a Kasha. For a tzaddik not to make it to 60, that would have been his. He's okay. Even though he ate dam, and even though he, the of his life was mitzvahs, he was good for him yid, and he's chayv karis, he will, his, uh, his good deeds will be rewarded. Because he's a tzadik. He'll also have tzchiyah samashim, hua oilam shachar ha tzchiyah. This pasuk is talking about benichras, Ha who life as we know it, Ish, who's supposed to live till 80, is not going to make it to a zikna. That's the Nikras Ha'isha. That's the most, um, the, the, the easiest form of Kores is the Nikras Ha'isha Hu. Vasheri Machet Ha'chamer Ha'hu Yu Avanaisam Rubim Mishchia. So but let's say the same person, the different person does the same up there. But the second person is not a firm guy at all. He's not doing mostly mitzvahs and mostly mostly good things. Let's say you have the same, two people are doing the same deed, eating dam. But one of them is mostly living a life of Torah and Mitzvahs, and the other one's not living a life of Torah and Mitzvahs. Oynesh HaKoresh SheBa'avera Chamura Magia LeNefesh, says the Ramban. Now you've, um, like, you know, you've really gone deeper into it. It's not just the Ish, you've now, um, the, the, the decay has reached the nefesh hachoytes laachashit diporin minaguf he nichreses mechaye oylem haneshamas. Now you've cut off um, not just your life, your physical life, nefesh, like nefesh abahamas, as you're saying, but now you've already crept into the real nefesh, that where it's connected. Meaning the person not living correctly altogether, and then he does something which is chayav kares. That's like the straw that broke the camel's back. This is what the Torah means when it says, "V'nichor shahat nefesh ahi milfonai," like one step higher. Uksi vahavadati as hanefesh ahi mikaravama. On him it says, "Avadon." Ve'elu elam karis begufon. Now these people, and this is the Gemara, these people that did the worst type of karis, they don't have karis aguf. In other words, a person dies from karis, God forbid, 
when you're 59 years old, that's a sign of a good tzaddik. Whereas if you, because, but it, whereas a person would be rupai averois and do something, I mean, a bigger tzaddik because you don't do something with your high curse, but, but amazing. But I don't know why Rava had to make a, uh, a birthday party. It's hard to imagine that he's, you know, he noshed on comments on Pesach or something like that. But um, okay, you know, who knows what people you know, think of their life. But, but, if, but that's, that's um, the ish. Whereas if a person is rubai averois, so that person is kores as hanefesh, and he's not kores as ish, so therefore he can live a long time. Get it? So, so person lives till 70, 80, 90 years old, there's no right to anything. To be a dirty old man, it's, it's possible. In Shnemar, Vyesh Russia, Kohela says, Marich Barasa. Some people could do Birashaim until they're 100. No problem. It's only the, 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 the Tzaddik who does an Avera, which is Chayim Kares, which is going to lose his Zikna. But who's worse off? The guy that's been going, that's been for the most part going from his Obviously, the Russia is worse off. And the Russia is worse off. Russia is worse off. So you live a few more years, but you cut off eternity. Mm-hmm. Eternity. But if I'm talking about a typical American Jew, it's not a Russia, so, so no to Mason. speak. There's no Mason there. I, I, I don't, I he doesn't know, like, he's in a Chalishpa. Okay, so we're not talking about, we're talking, all this is talking about the Mason. And all this is talking about the Asilab. It's not talking about, because it could be. No, the first case is talking about here. But I'm saying, he's cut off, but he might believe he's still spiritual, he might be having, he's experiencing having a laugh in this world. Right. He's not, he's not suffering anything by this Karis. That he knows, he is suffering because he's not connected. Different. His life, his life is different. Listen, let's let's make one thing clear that um, I don't want to. Um, if anybody here is uh, about shuva, I hope we all are. Um, it's talking about not b'meizid. You're not talking about b'meizid. That's a different. That's a whole different halacha. Like what what, what we did. Sorry, uh, gang. It's um, or, or not knowing the It's a whole different. Uh, it's a whole different story. It's a whole different chapter in the Rama. We're talking about somebody who uh, who knows better. Somebody who knew better. Would, would it even technically be categorized as Karis in the case of Shoyge? No, no. no. It has to be amazing. Right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Tinnik Shinish was amazing. Is, is, is it not amazing? Bezesh yeah. Amr Chazal Avol Misha Avol Noisam Rubi Mishchiyay. So that's a bad guy. Because so we're talking about people that are aware. So people, somebody who's Avol Noisam Rubi Mishchiyay. So. So what happens with these people? What's this Karis do? Doesn't lose his whole Chelek Moelam Haba. These are the guys to go to hell. Meaning you, you lived your you lived your life. Um, you were aware, and Afa Pikain, I decided that I'm going to um, do most of my life is going to be about Averis. That doesn't do it yet, but then you go in your chayv kars. You, 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 you went too far, and you did something that's chayv kars. So this person now is detached on the nefesh level, and the only thing for this person to do, erva, person's bala erva, yardin l'gehanam in dainam shem shnei maser chaydesh. That's including umuso. That's what he says. L'achar shnei maser chaydesh, what happens after 12 months? Gufan kala minishmasa nisrefes. That's the complete disconnect from your, from the Karis is like in Elam Hapa, in other words. The Karis is in Gehenna. Am I freaking everybody out? Are you okay with this? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't want to, you know. What's, what's Karis that? for a boy? No, no, no. Oh. One second. and Ishmasan Nisrefes, Ruach Mifazartan. Listen to this one. Tachas Kapais Ragle Hatzadikim. You messed up your goof. So the goof is not going to be come betchias hamesim. What will happen is that you go to Gehenim, and in that Gehenim, so um, whatever that is, in that Gehenim, so what happens is what your remains become bottle, but still do the good things to the to the you you enhance actually the tzaddikim. Your good parts have to go somewhere, so they go to the tzaddikim, and the tzaddikim um, get up betchias hamesim. They have more power. Than, they, than, than when they uh, when they die. V'yesh kamer charis na chamer. Let me just uh, finish this paragraph. V'yesh charis chamer. Then there's a worse kind of charis. Shenichras gufai v'nafshai 
Rahul Memar Boy Kidvar Hashem Bozev as we say some hopper he carries to carries he carries by them hazet he carries by them hapa that's a gemara shlosh yud gimel loymar shehu yamus benayar you don't live long and you don't go to, you don't even go to Gehenna that's the good part about that you know if there's there's no Gehenna you just finished you you your your life would became worthless it's just a, like a worthless life yeah. There's nothing finished. It was, you, were, you were a mistake. That's the care of my mom. Huh? That's the care of my mom. Yeah, it's that's um. That's the care of my mom. Yeah. This only happens with Avodah Zara. Avodah Zara. Avodah Zara. That's it. No. <laughs> That's it. Babe. That's it. But you're talking there about somebody. See, like Avodah Zarah is a very top-heavy Avera, because Avodah Zarah, he does you that guy, you know, puts on tefillin and uh, he goes to the mikvah every day and does all the stuff. But but he puts he's Ovid Avodah Zarah. That's here. You're Ovid Avodah Zarah. So now you've, you've like you've you've decapitated yourself because um, the whole the whole um, whole connection is <coughs> is gone. It doesn't make a difference. What so there's certain Averas, Averas are not even Arais, not even Shvi Chasdam, by the way, has this effect. But Averas Zara, Averas Zara, if you really worship Averas Zara, so that's complete um, dis- disconnect. You disconnect to both of this world and an Olam Abba and the Olam Anushamas and Tchias Amesim and everywhere that's completely disconnected. So that's what the Mar says. Ein loy chelik loy Olam Abba ve'elo she ein lahem chelik loy Olam Abba. And the and the Mission Sanhedrin and Chelik has a whole list of people. It's so fundamental. It's not something I do, it's something I am. It's very fundamental of theirs. Um, I, um, I'd like to finish this Ramban, and, and, and the Balatanya has a Pirish on it, which I think is very, very important. But um, the Rambam says clearly, the Kulam Shasa Tshuva, Kulam, the Kulam Shasa Tshuva, Tshuva Semis Kabelas. There's no exception to the rule. Gemara says, Gemara um, Sanhedrin says, there's certain people that it's aim, and I just want to explain this point. Aim must speak and be out to last his tshuva. I'll never do tshuva. But that, that's, a, that's, a, um, that's not a fact, that's a prediction. And the prediction is that if your goof is cut off from your nefesh and you're not getting the, the yipach <coughs> of Nishmas Chaim any longer, so what's going to make you do tshuva? So far removed and divorced from that whole pipeline. So what's going to make you do tshuva? So the Gemara is saying a prediction of ain mas speaking beyond they lost his tshuva. Probably you'll never do tshuva. But it's not only, so it's not force says the person just talks you into it in the mahalach. So you do tshuva. But it's going to, but ain speaking beyond they onto himself. Beyond they, onto himself, he's not going to do tshuva. What? You need to know you need to help him. Or 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 God. Yes, yeah, so but but to, but this is the Rama makes clear both in Parashishi and in Parakasiri, the Rama the Rama makes very very clear that there's no such thing as somebody who can't do chuba. Menashe Amelach did chuba. There's no there's no such thing as somebody who can't do chuba. You can do chuba, you can do chuba, uh, but but a masvika miyadus chuba means it's a very hard thing to do. Okay. Why is it a hard thing to do? Because it's not beyond it. Once you've disconnected yourself, I mean, you know, it's like, you, you know, just look if somebody's like so far removed. You know, somebody, if you, I mean, we all know people like that. They're so far removed from anything Jewish. Maybe they're even Oivdei Avodazar. And they're high of chorus, like everything. They're so far removed. It's like, what's Pshat Shuva? So, unless some, uh, um, you know, Lubavitcher grabs them or Slusavais or, you know, somebody in the, in the Wilson camp or something like that, unless somebody's going to hop it. Um, it's a must speak and be other they lost his chuba. So the chesed here is to take somebody which is so far away. Uh, I, I, I think Anizah Fisi was that, a person that was able to bring somebody, people in that are so far removed from, from anything. But again, we're not talking removed from Yiddish, we're not talking about removed from um, Jewish values. We're talking about you're, you're, you've severed the, the, the goof from the nefesh. <laughs> so can can you save this life, or can you not save this life? That's that's the question. So he must be can be other losses tshuva. But but if it's not saved, let's put it that way. If it's not saved, so then if you let things go on its natural way, 
So, so um, then it's curries. There's no olam haba, no olam hazer, no olam haba, no nutzkei samesa, no anything. This is really important, by the way. You know, the chash of a thing in bicker cholam. You know, like no matter who, you go bicker cholam. Um, it's chash of a mitzvah bicker cholam. But you can you see people are dying. Um, you could say bidui with them. You know, you could talk to them. Usually, usually you could talk to them and. and you could create one strand of connection, one strand of connection. You can bring a person, you can mamish be mazaka somebody with, with, uh, with a whole eternity, and sometimes in one sense. You have to be zelcha. I, I, you know, the person has to be zelcha, and you have to be zelcha to do it. But I think there is such a thing, no matter what the person did, there's such a thing as, as uh, a kol kol yakum, that, uh, that talking to somebody. But I tell you, like not everybody's like, I remember I was sitting with a choyla, and he said to me, it was just, uh, again, I tell you, like I said, he's a Russian, but he did know better, and he had just left everything and uh, over the years, you know, married out and all kinds of things. And you know, and, uh, and he says to me, um, he says, "You're a rabbi." He says, "I'm very scared of what's happening in the next world." So that's to me here, Hurei Shiva. And um, there was another guy there, a friend of his, standing there before I had a chance to say anything. He says, "Nothing." <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It's like you go to sleep and that's the end of it. You know, you know. And, and I thought to myself, like, so sad. You know, <laughs> like here, a person is reaching out, which you know, like couldn't get that back. You know, once he said that, couldn't get it back. Here's a person reaching out for. I want to be part of the of, of the next world, and I'm just about to try to reconnect this even a drop, and, and, and talk about it for a second. And you know, this guy. Probably not well, you know, wants to make them feel good. Nothing. <laughs> it's nothing, you know. Just don't worry about it. You just like, it's like when you go to sleep, it doesn't hurt, you know. That's, that was his uh, hashari. So, like, have to be zelcha. You have to be zelcha to do this and be zelcha to that. And a, good, a good idea if you ever want to engage in this lamaisa is throw everybody else out of the room because um, then you could have a connect. You could have a serious connect. Not the doctors, not the nurses, uh, not, not anything. But, but they ain't not easy. But the point is, there's chuba for everybody. Shuva for everybody. What we're talking about is what happens if you don't do Shuva? What happens if you don't go through a Yom Kippur? What happens if, you know, it's also, by the way, interesting, like a person doesn't keep Yom Kippur, Chayv Kars. What does it mean, Chayv Kars? It's automatic. If you don't keep Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur is the day of connection. So if you don't keep Yom Kippur, so in what are what are we connected? It's a, it's a very it's a very difficult thing. So what, what we've learned, to sum, to sum up what we learned today, what we learned is that Kares, it's all about connection, and cars is about disconnection. And what we're going to learn is that it can be a little bit disconnected. It could be a little bit high of cars also. Not a whole high of cars. It could be, you know, but every time a person does enough error, there's, there's a beginning of cars. You're not <coughs> stopping something. Okay, once again, I, I apologize for the out of character negativity here, but, Tyree. <laughs>